against Texas, California, and St. Louis left in this bracket. AK taking a very early trip to the loser's bracket, as we mentioned before. And of course, he has the uh, the Batman spiral going in. <laughs> it's his own custom intro. That just should speak volumes about how much they love this guy out here. But well, it would not be an anime protagonist story without the redemption arc, right? You have to have the fall from grace for the tragic hero to come back and do the right thing. Right thing going to be fighting through a true anime pro tag as well in Lima, who has had several incredible storybook runs all the way through many brackets. Would love to make this one another as well. And we're already starting out here on Battlefield. We, of course, know what Bayo is capable of here. But what I want to see here and where Deathspade really started to fall into a lot of trouble is, again, in situations where there were knocked down really bad situations, a lot of similar habits, and was not able to capitalize on which time. I expect to see something much better from Lima. Yeah, of course, Lima has not made it this far without learning the snake matchup. This is one of those that everybody was in for a rude awakening for if they didn't play Brawl. Neither of these guys can say that they did. But of course, five years into Ultimate, four and a half, you've gone through so many snakes. Under runs to the top. Can Lima deliver on a better performance than Deathspade did? Obviously, gonna be a tough ask when your opponent's Apollo goddamn Kage. Great work there, and again, tried to set up a witch time there. <laughs> I get that just appears to be the same thing that we keep going back to over and over. Slight bait coming out from that. And again, nice capitalization here. One small moment, all it took there to keep this one close. Lima proving to be much more aggressive off the stage. Yeah, I would love to see some more of those edge guards turn into stocks, right? That's really one of Bayo's calling cards in general. We saw that Lima was able to take an early stock off the Wii's, playing a hard to gimp character like Palutena. So maybe that'll be a factor here. Maybe it won't, but so far, it's been a very even scrap. Wow, and that grenade coming to, what? Not even gonna have the decency to spike Bayonetta. Hits it, her right into the wall, and we see Lima hanging on. Now with a chance of his own to open things up. Yes, the ABK, the Witch Twist, another one, and the forward air, there is no corner up in that top right blast zone. That's what Luis could have been staring down had Lima pulled the trigger on the fair. Yep, I incredible work there, and those are the slight optimizations there on the combo. Landed at just the right time and set up the ABK on the other side. You know Lima knows every combo with his character, probably invented half of them as well. AK not going to be able to get away from them as easily in the previous set. Again now, 101%. Plenty of opportunities here, but Lima proving willing to again jump up to the platform, fake out when he's coming back down, try to make it difficult for Apollo Kage to figure out where the landing has come from with any of those powerful tilts. Right now, just controlling the ground to the best of his ability at least, trying to make it unsafe for Lima to return to center. He's been stuck on the ledge for a bit. And then Akita on the top platform, wow, right over the shoulder. AK so creative with the snake, and another one, and another one after that. I can't believe that second one sent the other way. I thought that was gonna certainly send Lima back towards the stage. Instead, a grab, tossing out. Prove again that you can get past the Nikito. Can you pass the test? Leaves it right down. That's one successful landing there. The, the, which time in that position? That's unbelievable. The AOE from below was so huge there. And once again, the spot dodge out of which time. Being in shield when the grenade goes off, obviously going to completely change the punish that Bayonetta gets out of that. And now we have a 72% lead for Lima, but that's nothing that you can rest on. Snake can make that up in one combo. The grenade, Nair, dash attack does 50, as we already saw. So if Apollo Kage is able to find something like that, we're looking at an even game. Whoa. Hold on, are you just dead? Almost saving with the grenade, but no, Lima going to die at virtually 0%. Immediately the finger went up from Lima with a nice little swirl. Run it right back. Get it right back. I don't even want to think about what just happened. You know, it's only justice. How many times did that fair come out from Snake against a Bayonetta? And we said, oh, not even the decency to get spiked. Well, how about pulling it out right there in your first game in Losers Finals? It might not be instant karma, but some divine presence was looking out for AK right there. Said, hey, second try, I got you, bro. Wow, okay, somehow going to pull that one back after staring down a pretty big deficit. I mean, Lima was up fairly comfortably there. We could have seen just a few more combos into an edge guard, tie that one up, but no, AK winning game one of this pivotal loser's finals, looking for his shot at Luis. The St. Louis Arch, the watchful eye, staring down her favored child right here as AK has a slight moment here. The hat is on as well. 
composure indeed. You know, earlier I was chatting with some of the other other good St. Louis friends in the crowd. I was like, what makes AK so special? Said, the kid's unflappable. Nothing gets to him here. To him, this is just another couple of games of Smash Brothers here. A slight break there taken by Lima for much the same. A little time after the run back, you do have to get a little bit of yourself back before you can immediately throw hands. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at AK's tag right there. A reminder to himself, composure. And that's something that every tournament competitor has to be very conscious of. And I think I would agree with what the St. Louis homies were saying, right? This player, he has an ironclad mindset. You cannot face him. He knows that no matter what, tomorrow, next week, next month, there will be another tournament for him to run it back at. And that has carried him so far in his career. Somebody else with a pretty illustrious career, though. Lima, again, maybe just trying. I, I would love, again, to get some of the mindset here behind why you're trying to go ahead and use Witch Time on some of those grenades. Again, because Snake so often is holding a grenade and shield as well. So the scenario that we have said has happened is the situation that will probably happen more often than not simply because of how Snake holds those grenades. Yeah, it's looking like the Bayonetta players are second guessing what the follow-up should be, right? But that time, <laughs> no guesswork to As be done. we say it. <laughs> yeah, Lima very familiar with the follow-up from that position. Oh, and the ledge slip! Gonna save Lima from a potential up tilt death at a very early percent. Being on the top platform there could have been lethal for him, but no. We're gonna see Lima continue to hold this lead, retreat to the platforms. Oh, and almost going right into uh, the, the top last one right there, courtesy of the up tilt. Okay, let's see, Lima, how much more extra credit can you build up? Taking that first stock doesn't mean anything if you don't build some damage with your lead. I'm not convinced that that movement from Lima wasn't a bait to get the C4 to come out. You saw almost walked right over to it and then jumped back at the exact right time knowing Apollo Kage would pull the trigger. Again, rotating back over to the other side and the up the outer shield, of course, is going to be enough in almost every circumstance over what Snake has there. Again, fighting through with the back air. It's not gonna be enough because it's cross stage. The Nikita not finding home either. And now suddenly a completely different game here between these two. Lima finding another gear. Yeah, really settling into his own at this point. Looking so much more comfortable than he did the first time around. And how could you be comfortable against a player like AK? Wow, actually going for back throw, a little bit nervous that his grenade would go off and stop the down throw up tilt confirmed from happening. But no, I think he had ample time to do it. AK usually so comfortable with all these BNBs from Snake, but second guessing himself just for a brief moment. Didn't end up costing it, him all that much, but still, Lima with a massive lead just needs to land one up tilt, one witch time even. No! They, none of the Bayos have gotten a successful punish on him. It's unbelievable again, because it's the distance, something along those lines going for speed. And now again, forcing Apollo Kage off to get onto the ledge there and not opting to follow off as deep as possible. I get that you're not in the position to necessarily do so, but it's been so wild to see how Snake falls out of these combos at the most awkward of angles. Yeah, having a frame one escape, having good STI, having a weird weight class, honestly. All of those things contribute to AK's continued survival here. Oh, wow. And once again, unable to punish off of the witch time. You might think those grenades are nice and easy for Bayo to pick off, but no, they are not. And suddenly AK is starting to mount this comeback here. Already almost 60% dealt. And he's not going to let that 193% phase him. That, yep. There's no difference between 190 and 150, right? You're dead to the next good hit. Just simply don't allow yourself to get hit. That simple, how could you not do it there? Was that two separate what? witch times? And now we're not putting any sort of defensive option up. We're combat rolling straight through whatever you have in 201 and counting and potentially climbing here. We're gonna again dash attack right through and finally a back air will find it. 215 and change on that snake. Composure nine, I think nine stands for nine lives there. <laughs> Gotten out of that stock. For sure, this is one cool cat. He's doing his thing out here really racking the percent up and shrinking the margins on that stock. Even though Lima got the kill first, AK still put a significant dent in the lead that Lima had. So we could see this as good as even after one more up tilt. No, Lima is so good at calling out these approaching shields from his opponents, smelling their fear, going for the grab. And AK with the tech chase finishes it off with a down smash in the corner. This is so close, Charles. I don't know. I feel like anyone's taking this still. No correct answer in that situation. When you get grabbed in that spot again, dash attacking straight forward, trying to get your favorite combo here on Snake to immediately equalize any sort of percentage. Lima immediately moving up 
to the top platform. Now finally goes through with the crab. The adaptation to work through would have beat Shield and certainly beat out Snake, who was stuck in that position. And what? 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 Wow. AK, possibly the least fortunate Snake when it comes to the detonations of his own C4. Oh man, sometimes he does it to itself, or himself, and sometimes it does it to him. But the 26 and a half second time are going to expire right there in the middle of a Bayonetta forward air. So tragic. I mean, there's just no way that Lima planned for that to happen, right? But it still happened. You got to shake that one off. You got to keep it moving into game three. Have a short memory for these sorts of things. Don't let it phase you. And just pretend you're playing a clean best of three starting with game one right now. Well, and isn't it stunning there that Snake died at like, what, 100 some there? And we're like, oh man, that's an early percentage death. And you have to catch yourself there like, Oh, most characters don't live to 200 plus, so a very, very fortunate way for that to end as well. Who knows how many more hits that Snake would have been able to take. Or again here, hopping into game three, you said it, Max, a clean best of three ironclad mindsets with these two champions. Okay, it looks like Lima getting the better of these early exchanges this time around. AK gonna drift right back to the ledge with Air Dodge though. Let's see, can he get something started? Can he answer this opening combo from Lima? Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, a couple hits, we'll get it right back. And now again, we'll even come even closer to the lead. You know, these characters, not really two that'll run up and shield unless they have a really good reason to like a grenade on one side or if you have a great read on how they're trying to move forward here. It's been interesting to see again how Lima has slowly worked through coming up and down on Snake. Not a lot of characters capable of doing that, but when you have this type of punish on Snake that most characters don't have, it starts to make more sense. Oh, and Lima, I feel like so many of these witch times have backfired for him. Something else you got to keep in mind. Whoa. Wait, what? The back hitbox of the Nikita as he drove it into the ledge, almost enough to kill at such a low percent. But to finish my thought, <laughs> one thing you do have to keep in mind is that every time you use witch time, whether you fail it or succeed, it does make the next one that you land last less time, less frame advantage for that. Of course, there's a cooldown period. It'll reset back to normal after a while like it has already. But that's something that has bitten both Lima and Death Spade in the behinds in these sets. It's come back to haunt them when they don't get what they're expecting off the grenade. And again, the patience there from Lima, who waited on the side of the stage an entire time. And once the moment was right there, dashed right forward to knock Snake away. And now we're right back into the same situation. Empty hop, empty hop. Now I'm going to run forward, figure oh, you out. no way! They're waiting! They're waiting! Oh, look at that! Come on! Let's go! I'm just in shock. The C4's automatic detonation timer now twice massively influencing the outcome of these matches. Oh, and there it is. Yeah, pretty stale witch time. Barely going to lead to anything. That said, Lima still finds his opening. 41% has to trade 16 in the process. Yeah, you see AK right there so keen on using the C4 sticky as platform pressure, whether it's a tech chase or to answer your opponent blocking there. And now dribbling the grenade off the ground. All right. That's the Mamba mentality. Solid snake indeed. <laughs> Starting again. Now every time that both of them end up in the center when Lima doesn't pick the right moment there, both we'll end up shielding and rolling away. And again, how could you not when you're trying to find ways to attack Snake there? He's ducking, he's low profiling, pushing you over to the edge. Seems like you just give up stage position almost for free, but that's the right answer. I don't know. It feels like there are no right answers against <laughs> AK sometimes. The way he's able to set the field up and, you know, speaking up, we see that C4 in the same exact position that caused tragedy last time, or last stock, rather. Oh, wow, the parry into up smash out of shield, but Lima, of course, playing a very mobile character, able to get out of there before getting hit. And now, yeah, those scare tactics are not going to work on Lima. Finding his way back to the stage through the Nikita and everything else. Uh, and this time he's going to blow it up on his own, saying, I don't want to find myself <laughs> on the receiving end of that again. But on the receiving end of a forward throw, not prepared with the DI, that will kill you if you're not ready to hold in in time. And again, you talk about having a trick in your bag for an important moment there. You've been down throwing everybody throughout the entire duration of this tournament. How's about one forward throw there to take a stock again? The smash just narrowly missing, but waiting for just the right time. The chase, the grenade with the save, but the chase is not yet done. And you know what? I think AK could derive some good info from that forward throw killing. Lima, when the chips are down, is keen to hold out on his roll. He got a kill in the end of the last game with that, with the down smash, and now he got the forward throw kill. So that seems to be Lima's fallback, right? And it could be his downfall as well. I'm gonna downfall all of these grenades, every little 10, 11, 12 damage. 
Ticky Tack, it's a big, big deal for a character as light. If you had a heat map on this map, you would see a lot of what you're seeing right now, which is one going all the way over to the ledge, the other taking center stage, and then trading back and forth. What's the follow up? Even more damage. Where is the C4? I was looking for it yeah. too, man. <laughs> I actually think it is not out. I, I don't know, man. That's what AK it's wants us to, to think. <laughs> We're 30, bro. It's hard for us to see these things. <laughs> Oh, oh, the witch time, but of course the AoE not going to reach all the way over to the center of the stage. AK looking so good here. One up till the way, but Lima knows that as well. Going to use a witch time to try to answer that. Unfortunately, not a clean punish. There again. Other side, now you're starting to see AK be willing to give up a little stage presence here. If it means getting to set up the traps just narrowly below that C4. This is getting dangerous here. You're right below it as well. You yourself could be hit by it. Moving back over there, both near it again. <laughs> Max, I'm so scared. I am too, and AK tempting fate by going so close to it. You can tell he's looking for a moment to blow it up. Lima caught unaware right there. Just the very edge of the hitbox. Gonna contribute to his death. AK on game point now, one away from going to the grand finals. After dropping to losers, what? First round of top 64? A run it would be for the hero running it all the way back. And you know, Max, it's incredible again. Players at this caliber, how much of a hurry up and wait this match sort of feels like, where it's, we'll set up the traps, empty hops here, and then suddenly, ABK, explosions all over the place. Suddenly both sides have 60 damage and are now reeling, trying to recover, and then it goes back to it again, and again, rinse and repeat. And I think Fighting Snake is just so draining, right? You have to pass several execution tests, you gotta be so precise with your spacing as to not trip the grenade when you're hitting him. Right, you gotta look for what the option is after you get witch time on the grenades because Snake has a little bit of freedom in terms of what he's able to do, whether it's spot dodge, stay in shield, etc. And just when you're put through the ringer like that over and over and over again, eventually you just might run out of gas. Lima, I'm not ready to say that that's happened for him yet, right? He's still got some fight left in him, but AK not looking to make it easy. He's putting these brick walls up. He's putting all these obstacles in Lima's path. And so far they've been working out. That's why he's up 2-1. I love these cams. <laughs> Just getting to see again the expressions of both, the deep breaths being taken on both sides there, the hat goes on, the power up, Lima running through every possible option here for what the counter pick is as well. Taking the moment here. So often you'll see these sets, even at a super high level, the players just jump right back into it over and over and over. A salty run back. And I said I love these cams right there. St. Louis in the back and AK giving them a little show as well. Speaking of shows, one more game here for AK Lima on Tournament Life. Let's see what he's able to do with it. Counterpicking here to Kalos Pokemon League, a station we haven't really seen all that much of for the entire weekend. A lot of players are not too fond of playing here. And quite honestly, I can see why, right? Sometimes games go on way too long. The blast zones here are huge. The floor plan is huge. But strangely enough, there are platforms hanging over the ledge, which could be early spikes, early edge guard setups. I'm not really sure what the rationale is here from Lima because I think Snake is amazing on the stage. The C4 is also a lot harder to keep track of with those beautiful stained glass floors. Wait, that's a jump that's gone no here. Way. Whoa! <laughs> I was about to say a jump gone. That's going to telegraph even Bayonetta's recovery and a little bit earlier on that forward smash, and that would be a gone Bayonetta. Instead, you called it, Max, the trap there. Where do you go? You can't jump for free. You can't stand for free. Bayo, you are too tall. Nothing in this world is free, Charles. <laughs> Lima finding that one out the hard way. Got the ABK looking for the forward airs to follow up, but hold on. Tragedy might strike off stage. No, okay, I thought AK was gonna maybe try to trade stocks with the forward air, something crazy, just because of the massive lead it would put him at. But he's gonna play it safe. He's gonna throw the C4 in the middle of the stage, again, drawing that line in the sand, and then you have the grenades to force your opponent to approach, but also make them regret approaching. Finally, though, we see the clean witch time it's grabbed, working out for Lima here, but Leo doesn't get all that much off her grabs at these higher percents. Oh, she gets a lot off that, though. Yeah, tried and true, it all presents the job will get done. Max, you talked earlier about, you know, the floor, floor plan rather being so big here. One of the things we noted as the neutral game developed in that last game, again, Lima was finding the moments to run in on Apollo Kage's traps, but if you running to the edge puts you this far away from center stage, suddenly the subtle stuff of it not reaching means that much more. It means that many more traps you have to fight through. Speaking of subtle and speaking of traps, that C4, once again, so hard to keep track of just because of the way the light hits the floor here. AK not only finding the C4, but also another stock, one away from eliminating Lima and moving on into the grand finale. 
The cheers erupting from the crowd here. Lima saying, shut up. I am still playing the game right now and fighting it out. But a couple more hits, and there won't be anything left to say. Jumps again. Apollo starting to scout that out, too. A very nice parry into down smash. That would be big damage as well. Lima going back over to the platform. No C4 to greet him this time. But now the traps once again fighting through. We have to go back to the edge. It's stage control. It's patience. How do you fight your way through this minefield? Quite honestly, most of the time you don't. Especially when it's AK who's setting it up for you. This guy, just an architect of disaster. The way he set the stage up so consistently across four and potentially five games. If Lima pulls his comeback off, truly something to marvel at. Even against a character as mobile, as finicky, as Bayo, you can't lock her down that easily. Okay, hold on. Lima is starting to respond here. Getting some damage going, reading the air dodge. And now Snake is off stage. Oh, and the forward air gonna get countered, but it still goes through! Now it's a reversal at the edge. Bayo bounced out here. And now look at the horrible position that Lima is in. Now Lima reverses it as well and sends Apollo Kage off the side. The trap is set. The C4 on that left platform here. We again see the witch time. They run up. They both spot touch there. Every single read being tried at this point. That's so close. That's so dangerous. Both jump simply to get away and jumps towards Apollo Kage. 90% in counting. Can you get back onto the stage? Can you pass the Nikita test for the time being? It appears the answer is yes, but you'll need to answer it a couple more times. Oh, the footstool to down here though. Hold on. Lima very much capable of pulling this one back. Bayonetta, insane punish game. Insane mobility. What? is gonna happen here so far. It's looking to go AK's way as he drives the missile right into Bayo. Yes, not enough to kill though. Not enough, but one more of those will certainly do it even across the stage. Bayo just barely hanging on. 40%, 140%. Can Lima pull this back here? Has to use the recovery options to get off the side. That's on the ledge. Use the witch time as well. The Nikita chasing down all oh the way God. down. Oh my There's God. no invincibility. And if you make it through, you have a C4 and a grenade waiting for you. The forward tilt gonna shake Lima off of AK's trail once more. Okay, gets away from the Nikita and that C4 timer is taken. Gotta watch out for that. Oh, AK blows it up on his own though. Doesn't want to find himself on the receiving end again. And you are still so close to dying here. AK, can you finish this man off before he finds something tricky? The grenade at the ledge also could be scary. Which time into back throw down smash could kill AK if he's not careful. Careful being oh, exuded no! here. Oh my god, opportunities, the grenades almost killing Bayonetta at this point. Every trap on the table. AK still being patient. There it goes through. Chasing down. What is your recovery option, AK? You have one chance to oh, do what? this. He saved what? It. Oh, but he finishes it off anyway, and now a 200 percent comeback from Lima. That was as good as gone for him. But no knowing that no matter what, there's always a way to come back and win, even when the odds are against you like that. Even after saving AK after a fatal error with the air dodge, finds a way to get it done. And we're going to a fifth and final round here. Unbelievable, the only scenario there. You called it, be careful near that ledge. As soon as you go off, you are in Peyo's territory. And you saw the big head shake from Lima, but Again, not in a position to be taking any games here at this point. And we better hope that that tag is for real here. The composure you need to take it back after tossing a game that you had dead to rights. AK, this is your time. Can you get all the way back to grand finals and represent your city? Or will the Invader Lima close it out? Invader Lim, one of my favorite shows from back in the day. Actually, the, uh, the origin of my old tag, Doom. But anyway, enough about me. <laughs> It's all about AK and Lima doing it big. Both of them have just had such great runs. Lima on the winner side of things, AK making it all the way back through losers, but it all comes down to this. The final round here. Who is gonna make it to take on Luis? Oh no, not what you wanna see if you're AK. Slipping off the stage, jumpless, definitely an accident there. Lima punishing, but not all that hard. No, and again, one of the reasons you saw that mistake, that air dodge that would have taken out Apollo Kage at the end of that had Lima not finished the job in a cleaner way, it's not so easy to tech some of these Bayo hits if you don't know what it is. If you fall out of a combo and air dodge, as you are wont to do, it suddenly means that you lose a stock very early. We saw it in the first game. I've yet to see it come back as Snake crawls all the way through. That's straight out of Metal Gear Solid. Love the idea there from AK, but just pressing the Z button a little bit too far away from Lima. And 
Right now we have both characters knocking on Death's door, but especially Bayonetta. You might see a lower percent on her, but believe me, she is closer to death. Wow, just the run up up till I thought he was gonna finish it in style with the C4, but AK seems to have some trouble keeping track of his own. Again, if you've got something that does it a little quick, why not do it narrowly escaping another hit and another chase there? Now it has to be careful, a very early air dodge. Oh and speaking God. of information, Lima might have pulled that off as well, but has no say in the matter because of the grenades continually mucking things up. Game of pinball right there as the grenade and Bayonetta are just bouncing Snake around. But it seems to be AK coming out on top of all this chaos. Now that we're almost approaching the two minute mark in this match, it's settling a little bit in his favor. That said, Lima finds the kill now before, let's say, the 70% mark. It's one combo away from an even game. You know, it's odd. In some respects, both of these characters at a certain point don't care what the percent is. You just accept you're going to get hit, going to take damage, and you will live with the consequences of it as long as you get your conversions. And the patience being exercised here by Lima. I said earlier the heat map, both characters kind of sitting right outside of middle. There we go. An opportunity to close Whoa. it out. Whoa. 208 and counting. Well, not counting for very long, apparently. <laughs> AK, though, showing a little bit of fear. This is a couple times where his own grenade has blown him up. And he's just very high up in the sky, air dodging to the center of the stage. Lima, that time punishing with the kill. And that's something that you know both players are taking stock of mentally. Could be a huge factor later in this match, although there's not all that much time left for Lima. He is one up till away from dying, but the Witch Twist just gonna stuff it out on startup. You saw what AK was trying to do there. He wants him dead right now. But wow, the guns, the one thing Snake has on his belt that he doesn't use, actually turning into almost a kill, but certainly even percents. Wow, and uh, where did that come from? I, I was I Great know. question. Raining from the heavens like mana here are these grenades. Another one set up and another Nikita dropping it. I'm not even sure what saved what there. It's rare that the missile is the less bad of the two options. A dash attack closing it out. The crowd starting to get wild. There are chairs in the air. Cheers in the air. One stock left for Apollo Kage. Oh no, oh wow, the grenade still goes off. Yes, you do have to worry about it, even with Witch Time active. If there's a second one on the field, it'll interrupt your punish. Lima finding that one out the hard way, but AK near 160%. He is one good hit away from death. Lima needs to find that hit quickly though, because things might get out of hand. Snake with the lead, such a dangerous character. He's content to trade over and over again with anything that's not a kill move. There has to oh! be opportunities. Read that roll. Okay, 54%. Not the largest lead I've ever seen in my life, Charles. And I think we could see the comeback from Lima. You know the crowd doesn't want it, though. Take a look just a little bit longer here. A couple more grenades. Lima with the patience again, jumping forward, throwing out hitboxes, landing, came through to try to get the grab, and it preemptively tossed out the down smash to try to close it out as well. More composure, more patience, drops it a little bit early. Lima back to the edge as well. I'm not sure where Lima's opening is going to be for the time. Seems to be playing so patient as Apollo Kage has not even dove forward yet, even through all these witch times. And AK making sure to only throw grenades from outside of the witch time range, right? Just doesn't want to get opened up into a huge combo. That's pretty much Lima's only win condition at this point. But if he continues to keep it chill, C4 planted on that platform and, you know, not letting it blow up on himself, then AK is looking good to get into grand finals. Oh, just trying to call out potentially that exactly, the ABK. Lima attempting to break the ice here. Not gonna find an opening. Whoa, hold on there. Hold on, when is that gonna land? Got through both, unbelievable. That definitely would have hit. Now again, the down smash, more traps trying to hold on to it. They will wait through it. No. This is big. Is it gonna end like this? No, another grenade comes oh! out. And it's not gonna end like that either. The bat within coming in just in time. Ah! Footstool down air though, hold on. The chase to the top ah! of the screen. And AK calls it out, the preemptive back air. Just enough to tap Lima off the top blast zone. Apollo Kage has made it from round one losers to grand finals. We saw them fighting at the top.